Hey guys, welcome in. If you're new or just passing through to my channel, welcome. My name is Tam. I'm also known as the Enlightened Auntie. If you are returning, welcome back, squad. I'm here today to do another general collective reading. We're not science specific here, we're also gender fluid. I may say you and I'm talking to them. I may say them and I'm talking to you. Put yourself in the story wherever you seem to fit. I'm just changing the timer on my phone because I have a live session coming up in the next 30 minutes. So I want to make sure my alarm doesn't go off while I'm in the middle of recording. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so we're gender fluid here. Um, not science specific. Time and energy are fluid. So I could be talking about the recent past, might be talking about the present, could be talking about the future. So take only what resonates, leave the rest behind. If you'd like to book a personal more line with your own story, all of my information is below in the description box. And my books are always open. I welcome you to join me for a session. My nose is itching already. Okay. I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to start off with these cards. I got these, these this deck on, um, I think I got it on Etsy. And I'm sorry, I do not know the name of the deck. I don't know the name of this deck. I don't know the name of the deck, so I can't even shout out the, the maker. But it basically talks about time. So let's talk let's let's start off to figure out. I want to know like the time frame that we're working with right now before I grab any other cards. <laughs> let's talk about that. Let's get some time frame. I only want one card though. Alright. This card says close your eyes, feel what you want. Whatever is taking place will happen in approximately three months right so we are coming we're in the, the first week of march march april may so by the end of may we're going to calculate that whatever we talk about right now is going to happen all right let's just jump right in with tarot i don't even feel like digging into oracles or anything like that let's just jump into the story and see what spirit wants to talk about what's going to happen within the next three months Okay, not gonna lie, total, I, you know, I'm, I'm big on transparency. <laughs> Folks who know me know I'm real big on transparency. Um, I'm high as hell. <laughs> I just smoked. So, and I usually, you know, I, at one point I was, I would smoke like right before I started working. Um, cause it does kind of help open me up a little bit and I'm a little, you know, I'm a little bit more fluid. Um, but then I started to find that when I smoked, uh, depending on what it was I was smoking, I would like zone out in the middle of the read. <laughs> I actually felt myself doing that a couple times. So I generally don't do that. But I've had a hectic day and it's 2.30 in the afternoon. Um, I've already been up since early this morning. So I've been moving around a lot. And I need to take the edge off. <laughs> so if I go a little zony just for a moment, you know why? I'm telling you up front. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. What's happening in the next three months? Let's talk about it. Tell me the story, Spirit. All right. Well. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you know me. I see it two different ways here. Number one, I do see somebody here who <sighs> somebody feels like they chose wrong, they made a wrong choice, or they took too long, they didn't take appropriate action um, because the end result was basically losing the connection or being disconnected from you. Um, this person may have had a choice between, you know, you and someone else, and they may have chosen to stay, you know, wherever they were. Um, and now they're feeling this deep sense of regret and remorse, um, a lot of disappointment. And there's a lot of disappointment. I want to say that whoever this is may be somebody that's connected to your past, um, past and past life connection. Um, and I feel like there's really, I don't think that this person, whoever this is, has, a, I want to say they don't have a lot to say for themselves. Like they're, they're very disappointed. 
that they made the choice that they made and um i think this person is is heavily regretting whatever it was that they chose to invest in yep you know it's crazy because now this person is heavily motivated to come towards you um and if you had if you had been the one you know in the past that was like you know doing all the giving to the connection this person really didn't invest any amount of time any real good amount of time i think in you know building the foundation of the relationship or even really getting to know you like that you know what i'm saying i, I don't feel like this person truly knows you um oh i'm seeing so much right now oh my god see this is why i smoke before <laughs> this is why i smoke before i read i see a whole lot right now that i don't normally see with these cards um you know this might have even been a connection that you really fought hard for you may have really tried to you know put a lot of effort into showing them or just trying to be present you know no matter if it you know was kind of like an uphill battle i feel like you may have um you may have invested a lot of time trying to be you know like a team player right i think i mentioned this a few readings ago it's like you may have really worked hard to prove your value to this person whoever we're talking about um and you've been very you know you've been very generous however for whatever reason at the time that you were you know trying to give of yourself this person may not have been paying attention um they may have been filling your head with a bunch of bullshit um lies that sound like music to your ears this is somebody who i feel like they're regretting the lies that they told um and again i feel like this person is very motivated to come back to you or to come to you or come towards you mostly because they're very unhappy with they're unhappy with the choices that they made um and i feel like they're just they're starting to recognize where one two three four they're starting to recognize like where the love was i'm saying was because the two of cups is in reverse where the cup where because based on the amount of upright cups that i have here this yeah child ain't, ain't enough here it ain't enough listen yeah this person made a wrong ass choice and you know i'm sorry <laughs> you know oh no 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 you waited too long You wasn't loyal to begin with, and you waited too long. You waited too long. You waited too long. No, no, no. No, no, no. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. So, like I said, this person is connected to your past, right? And for you, I mean, and honestly, for both of you, I kind of feel like um, whoever they chose, so you know we don't just get one soulmate you, there are many right what it looks like here is it's kind of like this person chose one person over another person um both people that they that they were connecting to you and this other person were soulmates of you know soulmates or this is like the past life connections or whatever these are like people that have been you've been y'all been dealing with this shit for a minute these are past life connections okay 
but whoever they were connected to the person that they chose over you it's kind of like they it's really interesting because it kind of looks like i want to say like all the shit they gave you is kind of all the shit that they ended up with so they chose someone over you all for the person that they chose to do them the way they did you hmm and now we're feeling remorseful and you know all these deep regrets for putting you in third party energy they were unable to really give to you the way that you were given to them because they were given to somebody else that's crazy and i feel like whoever this person was they made this this person this can <laughs> nine nine this person may have been like your wish fulfillment you may have at one point thought that being with this person would be like everything right um because i think you may have recognized it you know almost immediately like this like you know this is my person um but it really feels like the moment that they made the choice to deal with the other person, the other choice that they made. Particularly if the connection was sexual in nature. If it was, you know, not saying it's, you know, you ain't got it popping or nothing like that. But it's like, if this person and, and the person that they were dealing with had like some deep, like also some deep chemistry, you know, physical chemistry. Like this person literally was chasing after a piece of ass and now they're kind of seeing the error of their ways like shit i shouldn't have done that because i actually could have been in a loving situation where that because that's what they wanted but they let their little head think for their big head and now they're in a really fucked off spot you know um because of the choices that they've made i also feel like this person is realizing too that it's the reason why you're a part i'm like kind of looking at where all the cards are kind of now this person is highly motivated to come towards you with an apology or some form of expression um to try to you know bridge the gap and you know patch things up and make things all nicey check the time let me clarify what deck what deck let's use this one They want to come in and apologize because things ain't working out so hot and this person is not happy. But the wild part about it is, the wild part about it is, they're still not taking responsibility for the actions that they took. So while they may want to come in with an apology, honestly, I'm going to say it feels like an empty apology because if you're not even going to own what you did, like, yeah, you feel it. You understand what it is. Like, they understand what it is. They understand that the decision that they made put them in the position that it put them in. They understand that. They get it completely. Right? They get it completely. And they understand that there have been the, the, the reason why y'all are not together or, or not even in communication is because of the lies. They understand that. Yeah, I said somebody's coming back. <sighs> They're coming back. Oh, because now they want to give to you. And they want they they want change. I think they don't like what they're going through. They don't like it. I don't know. I think my issue here is the fact that this person has not taken responsibility or ownership of what they've done, the gravity of what they've done, or what that fallout was behind what they did. This person wants to come towards you. Um, And I feel like they 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 want to you know they now realize the value of that reciprocation of what it meant what it means to have to be you know to be in the kind of relationship you know that they really wanted that they they're gonna have to give and not to other people. <laughs> 
Yeah, they want to come back in from the cold. They don't like it. They don't like it where they are. Here they come. They rush right in. They don't like where they are. They don't want to argue. They don't want to fight. They don't want to be in conflict. Oh, excuse me. The king of wands in reverse has become the emperor. Okay. Now that changes things. Yep. It's the lies. He, This person lied about third party energy. Oh, this they want to come in and heal this. Wow. They want to come in and heal. Whoa. They want to come in and heal because the person that they chose, that relationship turned out to not have any kind of abundance to it. There was no healing. No, have, like this person is, is trying to heal and wants to heal this connection. Wow. They want to apologize for the backstabbing and betrayal. Well, I'll be damned. This is new. This is new. Oh, this is new. Ooh, they're no longer stuck. They realize that they were disloyal and they, they weren't putting any work. The reason why they feel like they've lost everything is because they realize that they didn't they weren't loyal to the connection and they weren't giving. They weren't giving. They weren't putting in the work that that was needed in order to fortify it and build it and, and create the foundation. Now they want to start. They want a new start, but they're scared or they're trapped. They're feeling trapped. This person is like I'm. Yeah, I'm pulling the same energy off of these cards. They're they're very unhappy, very very unhappy. I am color me surprised. I am shocked. I've been reading this storyline for a while. I am shocked. Look at that growth. I don't want to fight. I want to heal the connection. What I chose did not grow. Communicate, receive, and express the truth. He wants to come and tell you the truth. I'm saying he because I got a lot of masculine energy out here. Deception, false illusions, scarcity mentality, falling into bad habits, declutter, let go of old items, create a new sacred space for yourself. I'm going to read these two because they also fell. Abundance, an inflow of money, love, or rewards, and release. Release grudges, wounds, and pent up feelings through healthy activities. So I don't know if you're still feeling a little bit okay, maybe. Okay, so maybe we're feeling, we're still feeling a little, you know, because uh. <laughs> it's one thing to, you know, I know a lot of you haven't forgiven the person, your person, whoever this is, whoever this is, did you dirty, you have, some people haven't forgiven, but be reminded that the forgiveness is not for them, it's for you, it's so that you can finally kind of release that burden, because that burden isn't even yours to carry, like, if they feel some kind of way about it, let them carry that damn burden, that burden ain't yours, go live your life freely, you know, and I have always said, and I've been saying it for years now, so people that have been rocking with me for many years, you've heard me say this, if the person that has, that you walked away from, like there was one at one point years ago folks were holding the door open we were hoping we were hoping opening the door keeping the door cracked with our foot just to shine a light to show them this is the direction that you need to go in but i'm gonna hold the door for you but what we were doing was we were holding that door open and we were still at the door we were preventing ourselves from moving forward and so i have been telling people let the door close when you walk away let the door close behind you let it close and you just go on with your life. Go live your life. Go heal. Get yourself together. But if this person, that person on the other side of that door, should happen upon your path ahead of you, if you will, 
if they come running along you stumble upon them and they're healed and they've done the work i mean yes the feminine i mean the way it works is the feminine energy awakens first we do the healing and we lead every you know we lead the masculines not like our way but we lead them towards that healing right so if they come circling back and they've healed and you do have an opportunity i mean remember we had two split timelines where one was you know no reconciliation and the other one was yes a reconciliation um if they come back towards you and they are in fact healed and there's you know window on a window of opportunity for some form of reconciliation pay attention to the red flags because there's nothing that prohibits you from getting back into, you know, getting back into connection. It doesn't necessarily mean you got to be in union with them. That's not what I'm saying. I've always said it. Reconciliation does not mean reunion. Okay? But if you choose to re-engage, pay attention to the red flags. If the shit don't feel right, let it go. Let it go. It's very simple. But you're going to have to really be grounded They want you to let your guard down and they want to come and tell you how they feel. Whatever they've been hiding, they want to come and tell you how they feel. They know that they've been disloyal to you. But this person has not let go of, I feel like the hope of, it don't really matter. This person's going to have to really put in some work. They're going to put in some work. If this person got married, there's a divorce here. But they've also missed their opportunity. So, um, but, you know, on the bright side, they're no longer confused. I would say just let them come in and make their apologies or whatever. If you're cross watching, it is what it is. You took too long. <laughs> sorry. Not sorry. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. If any parts of this reading resonate for you, or any clarity over your own situation, Give the video a thumbs up so we can circulate it to those who need the message the most. I have a live session in five minutes. And when I'm done with that, I will come back and do another reading. All right. Love you guys. Bye.